Uh, I think the government uh, probably would rate for me about a B. Uh, they haven't been able to accomplish a lot of the things that were promised, but I think that's mainly because of the uh, opposing political party blocking things. And I think the, we've responded appropriately to the war in U Ukraine, uh, haven't fulfilled some of the border things uh, some of us may have hoped they would as far as immigration policy. Uh, and anyway, vastly better than it was a couple years before that. I guess that's about all I'd say about that. Um, I would give them either a C plus or a B minus. And the reason I say that is the fact that um, with everything that's going on, um, with the pandemic, with the, um, the war in the Ukraine, and with the... Uh, um, um, the the no the the um, the chain you know what do you call it the uh, the chain where everything is coming over overseas supply chain the economy is 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 a lot better than I think um, a lot of um, the the news of uh, the um, television news is saying. I would give our country high marks because the whole world suffered of this pandemic and I think that our country we need a we need to appreciate it more I'm not the most patriotic person but I do appreciate America I know I don't want to wake up to China ruling me and I don't want to wake up to Iran where you know their rules are different so I love our country. I think we did a great job. I think in terms of chemistry, um, even though I've had is issues at UC Berkeley with the chemistry department as a student there in chemistry, trying to learn chemistry, I think our drug manufacturers are making people live longer. Um, I think that we did a, they did an excellent job getting people vaccinated and getting COVID. Um, as opposed to poorer countries that can't afford vaccines. Um, in terms of food, I think it's been difficult. I do find even the big box stores of food, sometimes the expiration dates due to COVID are really you know, bad. Um, but I would say there's no other country I'd rather live in right now. I've been to Italy, wouldn't want to go there during COVID because I saw so many people like dying in the beginning of the pandemic. Obviously, I wouldn't want to go to China, wouldn't want to go to Russia. So it's very like, wouldn't want to go to Thailand or any place like that in Asia. So I think this is the best country, honestly. And I would give it high marks right now. But there's obviously a lot of things we could do better. I would probably give uh, Biden and the administration a low grade. Uh, probably, it'd be difficult for me to say an F, but uh, that's probably what I think because the, uh, so many things have seemingly gone wrong with a border and with uh, as far as as uh, even the COVID thing seemed to have collapsed. So I w I'm not been in favor of what he's done almost on any any particular uh, point. So I would I would say an F. A letter grade, I'm going to have to give it a C. It has definitely been not like any other years that have come since I've been alive. Uh, the divisiveness in the country, uh, trying to hold everyone together. Uh, there's way too many crazy issues going on that are going to affect us for decades to come. Um, as for their presidents, I really don't trust anyone that they give us to be their president. It's been that way for many years now. Uh, everybody's out there for this themselves, and that's about it. Um, like I said, overall grade score, I'm going to have to give it a C. I agree with stuff, some stuff that's going on, but don't agree with a whole lot of others. So.